Happy Sabbath to you, Aurora. You guys, yeah. Today I want to tell you a story about a young couple who lived in a very small apartment, didn't have a backyard, and they decided, hmm, I think we need a pet. Oh boy. So they decided to go to the pet store and check it out and see. Maybe they just need a dog. Well, maybe, but that might be too much for their little tiny apartment. And they worked during the day. Maybe a cat. Maybe, but guess what? When they went to the pet store, oh, there was a big giant display, big circular cage that was open so you could pet the animal that was inside. Can you guess what kind of animal was inside that? It Is had, it dog? no, it had long pointy ears. Is it, is it Clifford the big white dog? No, it isn't Clifford, but it had a long ears and it kind of hopped. What? It's, a, it's a bunny. A bunny. That's right. This Aww. is Nina. It's Nina the bunny. Nina the oh. bunny. Oh. You know what? Nina was out of all the bunnies that were what there. She was the only one that had dots on her. She had black dots all over her on white fur with <laughs> big long points. Yeah, she had two eyes, little button eyes and a yeah. black muzzle, and they named her Nina. And paws. And paws. But you can see the little spots on her. So they brought her home, and they brought a cage for her, and she was so cuddly and cute, but she grew quick. She grew and grew, and wow, one day they came home from work, Guess what? She'd gotten out of the cage. And she chewed the refrigerator cord. Whoa. That wasn't very nice. No, because they had to call a repairman to fix that. And so they kind of steadied up that cage. She kept growing. She got bigger and bigger. And in two that weeks, nice. they came home she'd gotten out again. And this time she chewed the telephone cord and the lamp cord. She wasn't hurt, but she could have been. She really was getting too big. Not a good idea. So guess what? They called their friends in the country and they said, you know, it's just not working out, but we love this rabbit. Can we bring her to your place? They said, sure, bring her. So they lived out in the country. It's a long ride. And they decided to put Nina in with the chickens. So she loved the chickens. She would follow the chickens around the yard. And if they ate grass, she ate grass. And if they t went to take a nap, they went to roost in the hen house. Well, she would get in the hen house and sit on her perch, her special perch. She, and also they bought special food just for rabbits. But you know what? She liked the chicken feed that they throw out. So she became more like a chicken than a rabbit. How funny. But she was around those rabbits all the time. I mean, those chickens. She was around them all the time. So she became more like a chicken. That's how it is with us. If we choose friends, we become more like them sometimes. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. And if we choose good friends, if we choose friends that are loving and kind, we become more like them, even more like Jesus sometimes. So let's think about when we, when you guys get big enough to go to school or meet friends in the neighborhood, 
You choose people who love Jesus and are good, okay? And kind and loving. So you'll become more like that. That sound good? All right. Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us be more like him and find friends. Father, I pray for Ronan and Aurora. I pray, Lord, that you will help them find friends, Lord, that are loving and kind, and that you'll help them be loving and kind friends for others. And I ask that in Jesus' name.